This is a giant worm that eats players. And this is a slime that'll copy all of your attacks. And these are 25 insane mobs that Minecraft needs to add. Starting with the powerful rhinoceros. Absolutely threatening when provoked, a nibble of wheat can actually pacify them, turning these behemoths into your protector. However, no amount of wheat can help the pillagers, as these large creatures hate all illager kind, even ravagers. Their horns are quite unique too, and can absorb any potion effect, then inflict it upon anything they attack, giving them an edge in battle. Just as the cobblestone golem too can blow through its enemies. Although bearing a creeper face and possessing explosive attacks, this guy is really just a gentle giant that only harms those who harm it. It's got a clever trick up its sleeve too, and when it detonates, it shatters into numerous tiny cobblestone fragments, which scurry around to reassemble into the original golem. Damaged? Don't worry, some cobblestone can patch our friend right up. Easy. Not easy swimming past these piranhas though. While the fish may look harmless at first, they've got terrifying teeth and an attitude to match. Extremely persistent once they get a taste of you, they won't want to let go. Thankfully, they're lightweights in health and damage, so you can take them down easily. Just remember to pack some band-aids for those pesky piranha bites. Ah, first the fish, and now the plants are biting me? The Whisperer is a plant-like mob that isn't one for photosynthesis. It much prefers flesh, as it channels violet energy into its attacks. Close up, it'll swipe at you with its long arms, while from afar, it can trap you within a cage of quick-growing vines. If you come close to a cluster of them, I'd say just turn and walk or run the other way. <laughs> Ew, ah, tarantula hawks. Ugh, though gross, these guys are harmless. Well, to us, not to spiders. These large blue wasps pack a mean sting that can paralyze other creepy crawlies before burying them in the sand. Now, here's the crazy part. You can tame these creatures. If you feed them spider eyes, they'll actually protect you. Better than these spiders, I say. Let's focus instead on the nocturnal beauties of Minecraft's frozen oceans. Comb jellies. These aquatic lovelies are as colorful and peaceful as can be. They can't survive out of water, but if you catch them using a water bucket, you can create your very own aquatic display. The bucketed comb jellies won't despawn naturally too, so add some bioluminescent charm to your underwater castle. Now for something less beautiful, the bear fish. Or fish bear? Oof, and I thought catfish were ugly. <laughs> uh, well, these underwater brutes are naturally hostile and aggressive, attacking players with their fierce pelvic fins. If you find yourself being chased, don't swim. Or rather, draw an anti-sea bear circle using a stick. Huh, yes, the stick is mightier than the claw. <laughs> well, looks like the coast is clear and... Uh... <laughs> Now, this is the most dangerous slime, and that's because the Mimikube is a hostile mob that'll copy your every move. Even your held weapons or worn helmet can be replicated to wage war against you. And that's not all. Like you, they'll happily scarf down a meal to heal themselves during the heat of battle. Quirky and frustrating, these slimy mimics can make for a hard encounter. Harder than even the shell of a cinder shell. These giant tortoises love to roam the nether's lava lakes. If you knock them dead, they'll drop shell shards that can outperform even coal in a smelt off. You can cook 32 items with just one shard. <laughs> Efficient. I do feel kind of bad killing them though. Well, I guess if you want to see some baby cinder shells and, you know, continue the cycle of life, you can get your hands on some warped or crimson fungus. He can't resist it. Aww. Just like I can't resist my new bouncy friends. You can find kangaroos hopping around the savanna biomes, but be warned, they've got a powerful kick and aren't afraid to use it. Yet, with a bit of patience and a good amount of carrots, you can win their trust and gain a fiercely loyal companion. The real kicker? These critters come with built-in storage. Hoppin' incredible, right? Oh, uh, be careful though. If you happen to hear ghostly moaning, you'll know a haunter is close by. These foes can glide right through the very fabric of your Minecraft world, making your carefully constructed defenses look like a joke. Be warned, every time you die, there's a small chance one might spawn, seeking revenge. But don't don't worry, despite their ethereal abilities, these spooks are actually quite slow. So you're fine, you know, as long as you don't run into a skeleton wolf. 
They are the loyal pets of skeletons, and they'll pounce on you while buffing their skeletal masters. So it's definitely best to tackle them quickly. But rotten flesh, as unappetizing as it sounds, is actually their favorite snack. With careful maneuvering, you can feed them some, allowing you to turn the tables. Just remember to approach with caution. This is one instance where their bite is actually worse than their bark. What's that you say, boy? A sandstorm? That's no storm. It's a guster! These hostile mobs hurl sand with fury! But they don't stop there. They'll lift you off your feet and send you twirling up into the air, leaving you to crash back down to earth. These twisters can be found in deserts, badlands, or even soul sand valleys. But let me tell you a secret. If you want to give them a good scare, just splash them with a little water. They hate the stuff. Speaking of water, watch out for a touch of magic by the riverside the dazzling dragonflies. These little wonders have a taste for spider eyes, so bring a few along to make a friend. And guess what? You can even deck them out in their very own dragonfly armor. Crafted with a simple line of ingots, it's the perfect accessory for your airborne ally. Together, we'll be unstoppable! Ahoy, matey! So, get ready to face the skellywag! Oh, he's dead. Well, these bony boys dwell near underwater shipwrecks, and they're not your average landlubber either, as they'll flop around on solid ground. Beware though, for occasionally these sea scoundrels come with a drowned as a fearsome passenger. Maybe you should take notes from the sugar glider. These adorable little guys are great climbers and even better gliders. You can win their trust with just a few sweet berries, and once they're your pals, they can follow you and apply slow falling when perched on your head. Leave them on a leaf block and they might surprise you with a find from their little foraging adventure. Aw, oh, thanks, pal. Wait, did you hear that? Oh no, it's the king of the jungle! Or rather, the savanna. You'll usually find these lions in groups, each with one adult male leading the pack, two adult females, and maybe a few cubs. During the day, they'll wander about, but then come noon, they'll be out like a light until the evening. That's when they'll be on the prowl, hunting down rhinos or other prey they've set their sights on. Like the elusive bun fungus, a rare critter born when a rabbit snacks on mungle spores, or when they just happen to spawn in a mushroom fields. They're cute as a button, but don't be fooled. If you upset one, it'll use its mushroom crowned head for a little butt attack. By day, they snooze away, but when the moon rises, they turn into brave monster hunters, leaping far and wide. However, a simple carrot can turn this feisty fungus bunny into your devoted friend, granting it healing, regeneration, and a burst of strength. Wonder if he can defeat that farseer. Oh shoot. Well, the Farseer isn't exactly a welcoming committee. It uses its multitude of arms to swing wildly, dealing heavy damage if they touch you. Be even more wary of its lethal beam from its eye. A touch from that, and it's game over. These far-flung fiends even tear open portals to reach hard-to-get players, and spit out glitching static balls that ignore your armor and enchantments. So you'll need to be fast. Whoa, <laughs> kind of like these cute guys. The lizards might be small, but they're full of charm. Charm. Got a sad one on your hands? Cheer them up with some apple slices. They can't get enough of them. And you'd be surprised. They have quite the musical ear. Just give them a good tune and you'll have happy lizard friends in no time. <laughs> dance away. Yeesh. This guy looks like he could use a good dance himself. Straddlers aren't exactly the friendly type. These creatures are also not great parents, considering they'll throw their kids right at you. Those poor youngins vanish after a few minutes, but they sure pack a punch while they're around. Straddlers can stroll right over lava, just like their strider cousins. But don't think you're safe crossing water. They've got that trick down too. I guess just one more reason to keep your distance. I know those bald eagles will. You'll see them soaring high in the skies on the hunt for prey. You can gain their loyalty with a bit of fish oil, and once tamed, you can command them with a falconry glove and hood. With those, you can guide their flight and send them swooping down to strike at foes. Perfect for scouting or just taking in the sights from high above. Plus, if they wander too far, they'll always come right back to you. Ah, just like the Void Worm! Its menacing form wages war on players by launching homing crystals and opening otherworldly portals. Beware of slain segments too, for they'll even spawn smaller worms. So keep your aim true to the head. Conquer this beast and you'll be rewarded with materials to craft the rare dimensional carver. A power 
powerful pickaxe that unlocks portals to the player's spawn point. Now, worms are cool and all, but I definitely prefer these lovely critters. They are truly industrious with a penchant for pearl hunting. Just watch as they skillfully crack open clams plucked from the riverbed, revealing gleaming pearls hidden inside. But here's the thing, these pearls aren't just shiny trinkets. They're the secret ingredient to craft a luxurious pearl necklace. So stylish. Now, if we dive deep into the ocean, you might just spot a giant squid. This fascinating creature springs to life whenever lightning strikes a regular squid. They'll use their tentacles to fight off fish, guardians, or other threats. And their skin color even lightens the closer they are to the water's surface as a form of camouflage, helping it avoid the whale. Because if spotted, they might just engage in an epic underwater battle to the death. 